Why do we sometimes fear the forest? Is it the tormented memories of our primitive ancestors? Of times long ago when man was not the hunter, but the hunted? up to the front door and I just started screaming to get the gun. I remember being on the ground, on my back, her being on top of me. I reacted the way I did because it hit my son. So we heard the crash and a thud of the bear coming into the house. In the spring and summer of 2003, New Jersey residents experienced some unusual bear encounters. These are some of their stories. It all began in May, in the rural community of Sparta. Tuesday, uh, May 20th, at uh, 1.19 p.m., Sparta police received a call about uh, a bear that had entered a person's property, was at their house, and had struck their child. Sparta police uh, responded. The bear stood its ground. I didn't feel that it was going to bring any danger to me, but I reacted the way I did because it hit my son. I tried to scare the bear away, but it's so uh, used to humans, it didn't move. It, it looked like it wanted to play with my son, not hurt him. The bear had become what the state considers a category one bear, one that may harm or even kill a human. So the animal was subsequently shot with a shotgun and uh, died. I didn't want that bear killed. If it wanted to hurt my son when I came out there, I would have saw something totally different. Brian Bachman is the president of the North America Bear Foundation. Brian has been working on a black bear reintroduction program in the Delta area of Arkansas. Brian's goal is to educate and promote responsible wildlife management. Black bears typically don't attack humans, but more than likely uh, the child was probably in between the bear and where the bear wanted to go. But in aggressive uh, behavior, there would have been some biting. There would have been more of a, an attack position on the bear. So I don't believe that the bear was actually uh, attacking the child. But bears don't have to be attacking to hurt people. West Milford, New Jersey. Saturday, May 23rd. A man and his dog were mauled by a bear in their own backyard. It began innocently enough when Robert oh. let his dog, Duke, outside. Duke had gone to the back door and decided he wanted to go outside like normal. He knocks on the door. The dog ran directly at the bear and was instantly engaged in a life and death struggle. I come running out of the house as fast and as hard as I could. Fearing for his dog's life and with no weapon close at hand, he jumped on top of the bear. I remember being on the ground, on my back, her being on top of me. It was so fast and furious. And at some point, the bear decided to flee. So upon arrival of the police, the bear was long gone. There he goes. He's comfortable now. I don't <laughs> think I realized what had really happened until I stood up. It's difficult, you know, to comprehend what, what could have happened. Robert suffered a dislocated shoulder and numerous puncture wounds to his head, back, and chest. It could have been my neck, it could have been my face. I, you know, I believe I got off fairly easy. Once she finished, finished wrestling with me, she ran straight out the back to the woods through the chain link fence. All these sections were previously reinforced with rebar going down to the ground three and a half, four feet. But she tore the rebar right up out of the ground. When she left, she, she left here full speed ahead and just ran straight into the fence, leaving an indentation in here with her head. Family pets become members of the family. Uh, to him, it probably was no different than if that bear had a hold of his child. Uh, he was doing everything that he could to, to stop the attack. If the dog comes across the bear fairly quickly, uh, the bear doesn't have time to retreat. Therefore, it would have to defend itself. There's no doubt in my mind she could have, within seconds, you know, killed us both. 
Calls continue to come in to state and local police. Well, it was one on the work turnpike. Thursday, June 5th. In this log cabin, Mrs. Christine Flynn and her young daughter were getting ready to eat dinner. About 6.45 that evening, uh, the 5th, I was in the house with my daughter. A 550-pound bear approached their home. And he came right up to the front door, and I just started screaming to get the gun. There was yelling and screaming and crying, and my daughter was hysterical. We headed towards the bathroom as my husband headed towards the door, and uh, he swung the door open and started shouting, and the bear turned its head back towards him, and he took a shot. The bear was hit by a single shotgun blast. When state officials arrived the next day, they found the bear wounded and bleeding to death not far from the home. Everywhere you turned around, within a three-hour time period, there was another bear. Once the bears are used to people's homes, uh, and they know that the, there's food around them, uh, in them, uh, whether it's uh, dog dishes with food in them, bird feeders, uh, garbage cans, they lose that, that fear uh, of the structure itself. It was not just the frequency of the visits, but the size of the bears that caused concern. We had never seen a bear in the 500 pound range, so now this is twice in a two week period that I have seen such a humongous male bear. The bear showed no fear of man. One officer drove his car down and put his sirens on to scare the bear, and the bear charged his car. This photograph was taken by a neighbor the same day. I fear for my daughter's safety. I mean, it's my only child. I fear for my own safety. A two-year-old struck by a bear. One man mauled. And another resident fearing for her life. But the biggest surprise was yet to come. Wednesday, June 11th. In this home, Lisa Spurko was alone with her 13-year-old son and two-year-old daughter. I heard a noise at the front door, and I was about to call out to my son to see who it was when I heard him scream. He came running into her room, and he said, there's a bear at the door. So I grabbed the two kids and ran to my room at the far end of the house and called the police and told them there's a bear trying to get in my house, and the dispatcher sent someone out right away and said she'd stay on the phone with me until help came. Well, while I was still on the phone with her, we heard the crash and a thud of the bear coming into the house. The bear's claw marks could still be seen on her deck. You want to come? The chance possibility of her son being harmed by a bear was a chance she would not take. This is the... I was terrified, and I don't know what that bear would have done if my son hadn't moved out of the living room faster. What if my daughter had been the one that was in the living room when the bear came in? Uh, in an entry situation, uh, once the, the bear has figured out that there's food inside the house, um, they will continue to enter houses to, to uh, get that food source. I never in a million years thought a bear would come into my house. I thought in there I was safe, but apparently I was wrong. Another homeowner with a bear complaint. This time, the 